today we're going to be making heart attack fries. I'm going to show you how we're going to put it all together. Okay, we're going to be starting off with some Angus ground beef. And you're going to have to wait and see how I'm going to incorporate this into the heart attack fries. Now I already have my griddle nice and hot. Let's put it on the side. There we go. Chop it up a little bit. The more of it you get in contact with the griddle, the faster fries. Now, are we waiting on that? Get a little cooking down to it. I'm going to work on some bacon with the bacon. Okay, here's the bacon. Now, we're not going to be using all this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off just what I need. Put that over here. The rest of that we're going to put back in the fridge for another day. Now, what I want to do is cut it up into very small pieces, kind of like making little baking bits. It's a little tough to do, but it's worth it when you get it all chopped up. There. That would be good enough. Now, put that on the other side. Get this hamburger meat turned over. We're going to keep on bringing it down. We're trying to create taco meat out of it. See how fast this stuff cooks, guys. It don't take long at all. Now, the bacon is beautiful. That's cooking really, really nice. Already starting to get crispy. All right, put it back out. Come back to the hamburger meat. Flip it over again. Cook it together. So we're gonna let it cook a little bit longer. Cook. That little piece jump ship on me. Turn that bacon, spread it on out, and let it keep on cooking. All right. Now, time to season it up a little bit. I'm gonna add a little water to my mixture. I'm add a little seasoning to my mixture. Now, let's make sure it all mixes together real good. And you have taco meat. Look at that. That's easy. Easy, easy, easy. Now, since I put the water on it, that just kind of helped make it with a taco seasoning. Mixes it a little bit better with the meat. You can see where it's mixed perfectly. Look at that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the fire down on this side of the griddle. At this point, we're just going to let it evaporate some more of that water out, but we don't have a high heat zone anymore. We're going to put our attention back to the bacon. It's getting close, guys. Look at that. It is getting very close. I like my bacon crispy. And I would say probably within the next couple of minutes, I think we're in business. Okay. All right, while that's cooking a little bit more, I'm gonna pull the meat off. 
because I think that hamburger meat is at the right consistency. So close. I just don't want to take it off too early. Everybody would agree, it's just about red. Put that side over there. Now. I won't let some of that grease drip off. And I'm added to the other side of the plate. Another key ingredient we're going to put on the uh, heart attack fries is the cheese. So we're going to start off with that. Now, I've got one cup of milk. And I'm going to be adding about two tablespoons of flour. There we go. I'm going to give my little whisk. And folks, when I mean little, this is the one I got left over. So that's what we're going to be getting. <laughs> now I've already got the eye on. I'm trying to preheat the milk. There we are. For those of y'all that never made cheese dip before, it's fairly easy. Now we're going to add some seasoning to it. I got a little salt and pepper together. And we're going to be adding a little cayenne. About a fourth of a teaspoon, because I want mine to have a little, little kick to it, but not too bad. Here we are. So let's mix that in while it's heating up. There we go. Now, I want to have a little bit of heat in this. I'm not going to get it to a rolling boil, but it's already starting to simmer. And then we're going to add the cheese, and then we're just going to slowly cook it in. Yeah, I can feel the heat already starting to come through. Now, I've got a cup of cheese. Use a shredded cheese. Makes it so much simpler, folks. You can buy a block of cheese, cut it up, or just do it the easy way. Now, now we're to the point where we're just gonna let all the cheese melt on the inside. Now turn the heat down a little bit because we just want this to happen slowly. Where everything melts together. Okay, we're gonna come back to this in just a couple minutes and I'll show you how it's coming together. Okay, we are back on line. You can see where the cheese sauce is cooking down good. One more ingredient we're gonna put into it is two tablespoons of butter. Of course, that don't take long to melt down into it. Now, on the cheese sauce, you can use the stuff they sell at Walmart, wherever, and just melt those into them. They're good, they are. I just felt like I needed to make some homemade this time. You can see where that butter is starting to melt in the bottom. And this is going to be delicious. 
Okay, it's just about there. You can see the consistency of it. It's perfect. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Nice and ooey gooey. Now we're going to turn the heat off because I don't want to burn it. Okay. All right. Now, I bet you've been asking, where's the last part? And that's the fries. So we're going to jump on that next and we'll be there. Main ingredient, folks, golden steak fries. And we're going to be deep frying these. I've got my deep fryer ready, hot, ready to go. The oil is at 375. We're just going to put these right on top. Take them up a little bit. And there we go. Now, we're going to let them, we're going to let them fry in that deep fryer for about three to six minutes. We're just going to keep our eyes on them to make sure they're looking good. Alright, look at that. Beautiful golden. Now, we're going to let them sit right there and get the grease strip off of them. And then we're going to put them in the pan and bring them inside. Okay. Grease has dripped off on good enough. That's what I like about this pot. It's got a nice way to let them drip dry. Okay, now we're going to bring these inside. Finish up the meal. We'll see you indoors. Okay, we're putting it all together. Finally, we're at the end of this. I got the fries ready to go. Now I'm gonna take the cheese and we're just gonna put it on top. Look at that. That's going to be delicious. That cheese is just kind of melting through those hot fries and getting to the bottom. There we go. I think we're going to leave it just that bad that way. And then we're going to take some of this meat and we're going to sprinkle it all on top. We're going to use what we need. There we are. I think we're going to leave it just about there. And then we're going to come back with the bacon sprinkles. Everything we cook, we're using today. Okay, I think we are done. That looks fantastic, guys. Okay, well, we're gonna hold it right there.